Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Two Speed Handheld Blender with Chopper Attachment and also your Chef's Whisk. So let me show you all the um, features and benefits of the product. Um, first and foremost is the main part of your product, which is the handheld blender. And you'll notice it's all stainless steel in the, in the front and also has a stainless steel shaft. The shaft is removed by pressing this little button here. And you detach it and then to reattach it you just press it down and it pops right into place. This, um, when you detach this you should rinse it in the sink or put it in your dishwasher but when you put it in the dishwasher and my dishwasher fits right in the um, flatware tray. So the other thing I want to mention is you should never ever put your hands anywhere near the blade. Um, that's why we have the blade guard on the top and how this works is it actually um, the food goes in through the bottom and comes out these slits right here, and that's what helps to keep incorporating it. The other thing is you should never lift um, from the blade bar guard portion down, you should never lift that above whatever surface you're trying to mix because it will splash around quite a bit, and so you should keep that in mind. The nice thing about handheld blenders is they're very versatile. You can do everything from vinaigrettes, um, you can do um, any type of smoothie drink without ice in it and we recommend what you do is you use frozen fruit because that's what will help it keep cold and it won't dilute the flavors and like I mentioned this also comes with a chopper attachment and I'm just going to take this apart so you can see it this is the lid this is the chopping blade and the chopping blade is reversible so you can um, very carefully twist this so it loosens up and you can actually take the blade off put it back down and that way you can use the sharp side for soft foods and the hard side for things that are hard, such as Parmesan cheese or um, if you wanted to chop up anything um, that's like nutmeg, because nutmeg is very hard, that works really well for that. And this is also really great too because you can make small batches of salsa. What I did today was I um, chopped up um, some scallions and garlic and cilantro for the salad in advance. And then I'm gonna show you how to make a vinaigrette. The other thing I forgot to mention was that this handheld blender is 300 watts. You can do lots of different things with it. One of the additional things you can do is attach your whisk attachment. And um, you can make um, whipped toppings, you can make meringue, you, can, you could actually mix the vinaigrette in a bowl if you preferred and then toss your salad right into the bowl which is a very efficient way to do it. The um, whisk attachment um, has a nice balloon shape. It's made out of thin stainless steel tines, and that's really important to incorporate air into whatever you're um, preparing, because that's what a whisk is for, to incorporate air. This is your um, mixing cup, which we're gonna use today. And you'll notice in the front, you have measure markings right here. So you have ounces and cups, and it holds up to two cups. It's microwave and dishwasher safe, has a pour spout here. And then the other thing is on the reverse side, it has measurements in milliliters, up to 500 milliliters. So I'm just going to put this like that, because we're going to use it in a minute. Now, the one thing I don't believe I talked about is how to actually activate your handheld blender. Um, so you'll notice in the front there's two speeds. The top one is low, the bottom one is high. This is made out of like um, a slip proof um, plastic. It's nice and soft. But to activate your handheld blender, what you would do is you pick your speed. I'm just going to put it in here so you can see it. You pick your speed and you press your speed down. Then you unlock the unit by pressing this button on the very top. And the minute you let go of it, it will not activate again, and that's a really great added um, feature for your product. So remember, you pick your speed, and then I'm just going to show you the unlock button. That's the unlock button. And then you press your unlock button, and your unit will start working. So let's go ahead, now that we've shown you all the things that come with your handheld blender, and let's go ahead and make a beautiful vinaigrette. So here are some of our ingredients. This is the mustard. This is whole grain mustard. Mustard is an important element when you're making um, a vinaigrette because 
it actually helps emulsify and bring all the ingredients together because you have to remember, you know, you're mixing oil and vinegar, which are not easy to incorporate together. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add the vinegar first. This is more than I need. Um, mostly it's like a third vinegar to um, two-thirds oil are your, measure, are your basic measurements. If you like it a little more tangy, add more vinegar. And then I'm just going to add the oil, some salt, just a little bit. I tend not to add a lot of salt to foods. And then pepper, black pepper. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually put it in the mixing cup. We're going to pick our speed. I'm going to pick low today and then turn it on. So there you go. Now you saw how quickly and easily that came together. It's, um, I actually um, like to make homemade dressings because I have no preservatives in it. I know all the ingredients that are going into my food. This is, you know, on, a little bit on the thicker side. If you like it thinner, you can adjust accordingly. And then you just pour it right out using your mixing cup. And anything that you have left over, just put a piece of plastic film wrap on the top and you put it right in your refrigerator to um, save it for another day. So there you have it, the Cuisinart handheld blender with mixing attachment and chef's whisk.